We're gonna go over setting up an S-beam in our portable UCM. Have an S-beam load cell here. We're gonna thread the adapters in, top and bottom. Now, S-beam load cells are interesting in the fact that depending on how I load this cell, both threads loose, uh, versus both threads tight. If they're loose in compression, I'm going to have very good symmetry, which means if it deflects negative 1.8 in compression, tension's going to be around 1.8. Now, if I load them both tight against the shoulder here, the output is going to be significantly less in compression, which means my symmetry error is going to be greater between tension and compression. If I load loose on the top, tight on the bottom, it's going to be different than if I lo load loose on the bottom, tight on the top. There are about four different combinations. So it's really important you speak to your customer and figure out how they're using it to replicate use. Right now, I put in our easy to use quick change adapters and it's as simple as setting up the load cell, screwing in the top, Now you can see I'm very far away, so I'm gonna to have to adjust the machine down. Okay, I have the S-beam set up, and now I'm just winding down. These locked right into place, verifying that everything is loose. It is loose in here. My S-beam is tight against, so I'm going to calibrate it this way. The assumption is I talk to the customer, they're using it tight against the base, tight against the top. As I said before, if it's loose, make sure you replicate it loose. For what we're doing here, I'm just gonna load it tight. So that said, we have everything. We wanna get our initial zero. You can see this, this meter, make sure everything's, everything's loose in the uh, load train. We're gonna load this to 200 pounds of force, show everyone how simple it is. So right there, very quickly, I'm going up. I wanna read my reference standard, which is the Morehouse 4215 on the bottom. You know, I can go very slow. You can see very easy with the larger spring here to overshoot a test point. So there's three different springs, uh, ideally, for this, uh, this is a 1,000 pound load cell against a 2,000 pound standard. We do have the right spring. If it were a 500 pound load cell, this spring would be better. It would give us more control, more resolution in that control. So let's go to a 10% test point. Here I'm at 199.8, and my other meter is reading 199.2, and I'm gonna approach to 200 pounds, and just ever so slightly go up to 200 pounds. So at 200 pounds, I read 199.2. And it's as simple as that. The one meter is out. This, since this is our reference, we would say this other meter is out by 0.8 pounds. We would take more points. If we wanna to go to 400, we can show you that quickly. You take multiple points and then determine if it's in or out of tolerance, if there's a tolerance or if you're just reading straight values and reporting them for the customer to adjust to uh, be a coefficients or something else for their bias. And there at 400, we read 398.6. So you can hold the force, take the reading longer, or just do a replicate here. I let go of that and go back to 400. And at 400, 398.6. 400, 398.6. The top meter's not moving. The resolution is much more coarse on this top re meter, reading by 0.2. Well, at the bottom here, we're reading by 0.02. Okay, we got the S-beam out. Didn't want to bore you with those details. Put this up, took the S-beam out. Now we're gonna do an alternate setup in compression. So, easy, very easy to calibrate S-beams, button load cells, and other load cells. We have this compression base screws right onto our reference standard. We're on, we're tight, everything's good. And now if we're doing a cow, we would put our top adapter, typically a button, in this um, on the S-beam, lower the machine. We 
can thread this in. If we want to load it through the threads, the, the, if we want to load flat on the bottom and through the threads, we can do that. We have a gap here. So do we want to go down and lower it? I'm going to do this because I think it's easier. Go down and basically lower, lower the jack until both of these pop. Both of these have popped in. Now my, my load cell is here. Everything is good. I have flat against the base. Things are loose. My zero says zero down on the bottom. Since I put in some additional weight on the load cell, it's reading a little heavy. Zero everything out. I'm good to go. I can load this flat on the base and I can either tighten this down or I can load through the threads on the top. If there's a spherical, you could put a spherical in here and a flat adapter, lots of different ways, portability and versatility. There you go. Thank you for watching this video on the PCM. We hope you found it interesting and we're happy to answer any questions. Please feel free to contact us. It's time to minimize your measurement risk. We're the ones to choose more house.